Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and today I'm an amateur guitar player, and I'm here today to talk to you about learning, uh, non-linear learning. Um, one of the things that I have uh, I wrote an article many many years ago called "Failing Forward at the School of Hard Knocks," and the point of it is, is when you go to university and stuff, and you learn things, it's a transfer of knowledge. People teach you like, you know, we've already figured out what the wheel is or we've figured out math. We're going to show you how to do it. And you walk through and you learn how to do it. And you get tools um, and you learn things. When I went and got my MBA, I learned about marketing and quantitative methods and process. Those are really, really kind of tools. But when you get that knowledge, you go out into the world and then you have to apply that knowledge. And as I described, there's only one degree at the school of hard knocks and that is failing forward. And one of the things that I've actually done a video on this is that when you, I've read a book before in the early days about playing a guitar and read a little bit of music theory. And at the end of the day, I got to take this hand and I'm going to put on a chord here and I'm going to do a C note. So the first time I did it, it didn't, didn't sound very good. And I did it over and over. So I was practicing and I failed forward. The idea really is, is the only way to get it right was to get it wrong an awful lot. Now, the one thing about playing the guitar, I'm rhythmically challenged, and uh, which is why I don't dance. Um, I slow dance, I sway. But needless to say, is uh, I've all, I, there's few things in this world that I've ever really done that if I wasn't very good at it, that I stuck with it. And I've been sticking with the guitar, you know, like 35 years or whatever it is. And it's been one of those things that just sits in the corner. And sometimes I don't do anything. Sometimes I play a lot. Sometimes I pick it up and play it for two minutes, and I kind of go about my business. And I'm relating this to ADD because sometimes learning. The scales and doing things is a relatively boring thing and it's difficult. What I've done over the years is I've gone out and got some chord books and I play music and I try to play along to a song. And over the years, I, I've learned some chords. And over time, I actually began to realize, hey, I actually got some of this down. And one day I went out and said, I just need to get my right hand the strumming right. And all of a sudden, things started to sound recognizable. And here's the, my point is this is that the way I learned it, I didn't sit down and bang through the scales. I didn't go, I've kind of like done a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this over here and a little bit of this over there. And I've come and go, what's interesting is every once in a while, something will click um, by accident. I'll figure something out or I'll get a tip or whatever. And I know it's been 35 years and I have, but I haven't really done this. It's really been mostly a hobby, but things are starting to kind of come together. And I've had friends over before. We just get on the internet, we pull up a song and all of a sudden I can play it and they can recognize it. And I'm just playing a rhythm guitar, by the way. So it's really just kind of chord based. But the, my point really is, is that sometimes people with ADHD, we just learn a little differently. It's non-linear. And in order to keep the interest, you've got to go gravitate to what happens. Now, it might not be the most efficient means per se, but the purpose of this video is I've actually gotten there. I've gotten a lot further. Like I actually listen to myself and go, wow, that's a lot better than what I ever thought it would be. And so the idea is really to take the pressure off and realize that a lot of times um, learning is about failing forward. You actually have to go and you have to fail. When I got into this coaching business, I was using my MBA, but ADHD coaching was an industry that was relatively new. There was nothing to benchmark it off of. And I got a lot of stuff wrong. I talked to like the Linda Rogleys of the world and the Alan Browns and the Rick Greens and uh, Elaine taylor Claus, a lot of other people in the space when we were trying to figure out the marketing of it. And we were all spent a lot of money that didn't go anywhere, but things are starting to kind of come in together now. Um, which is interesting. I did an interview with uh, uh, Russ Ramsey of University of Pennsylvania about the evolution of coaching recently. And he actually kind of talked about how the coaches have really bought the business and the marketing side to some things um, and really making ADD fashionable, which was an interesting insight. But really to get back to the real point is um, often we get all anxious and anxiety because we don't learn in really linear fashion. And really, I'm just here to testament is that I've been learning how to play guitar, and actually it's kind of recognizable for other people, um, and I haven't done it like the way that you're supposed to do it, but I got there. I took the pressure off, and I kind of did it my way, and I kept my interest in it in 35 years, and I don't think I would have had it early on. So if anything, I just really hope that this is validating you if you're doing something out there, and sometimes you just got to do it your way. Lord knows with my dyslexia, <clears throat> I had to do it my way. I remember going through college, I didn't read books. I read the first line of each paragraph. Um, cause I couldn't keep up with the reading, which by the way, social books, I used to read the first sentence of each paragraph, but they're all run on anyway. So I would just read the first sentence of each paragraph and get the gist of what was going on and sit and take notes in class and able to get through and pass the class. So 
I didn't read very much, but that was a strategy. I did it my way and I got through college and then went on to get my MBA. So anyway, I hope this, this video is actually inspired to give you a pause to think. You got to do it your way, whatever way that is. And uh, for me, I've done it my way in different parts of my life and guitar is one of them. And I uh, wish I could play a song for you. Actually, we'll try one real quick here. I don't know if I can do this with all the pressure. Let's see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to let that go just because this, I'm not that great. But anyway, for those of you who know Harry Bonafonte, you might recognize that song. So anyway, subscribe to our channel by hitting that. Please leave some comments, your thoughts. How do you learn? Do it differently. But do you figure, are you all over the place? And at some point in time, does it come together? Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk video, and I hope it's given you pause to think. Take care.